Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. And I would like to congratulate Scientific Committee for organizing such a complex show so beautifully. So I'm very happy last three, four years, major importance has been given to this press biopic laser treatment. A special mention is happening in every conference about this. So this actually is a new horizon which has opened up. So many of the my speakers have already spoken about it. These slides are not changing. Huh? Yeah. So just single click on your screen, then you can move your slides. Yeah. So supra core again. I'm. I'll be talking about supra core. I won't talk about the basic principle. It's just creating a central 3 mm bump. So that works center for near kind of thing. And hyper positive area hyper area is created in the center to help for a near vision. So Doctor Mohita has already covered the mechanics, principle, the mechanism of action, and everything about the supra core. And other two platform has been covered by Dr. Kumar and Dr. Kudlu. So I would like to mention basic. Once you know the mechanism of action of your laser platform, any press biopic treatment will require a customization as per the need of the doc patient. So know your machine better, know how it works, and then you have to modify every time. Whenever don't go by simple principle key add this, deduct this, do this. No, you have to work out. You have to under, spend time with your patient, understand his needs, understand what he is actually looking for, and then plan your treatment. Once you know the principle, then you can do it very well. So bilateral treatment, initially, the company suggests to go for unilateral, then principally, everybody suggests to do, do the non-dominant eye. But yes, the supra or any press biopic correction can be done bilaterally once you know about the thing. So detailed history, I won't be discussing again in detail because most of the time, whenever you are treating press biopic laser, these things are mandatory. Do whatever principle of LASIK, whatever tests are required when you do LASIK, the same things, the same investigation and evaluation is required for these treatments. So I will just skip this few of the slides and I'll directly jump to the cases. So you have already seen how the simulation test and everything has been given. Be clear what you are offering to your patient. Let them know what exactly they'll be seeing post-operatively. And then you get a satisfied patient. So basically, default refractive target for supracore is not plano, but 0.5. So you can enhance the effect to get around two diopter of addition to central near zone. Hyperopic, as Dr. Kumar rightly said, hyperopic patients are more satisfied with the outcomes compared to myop. But if you work out your strategy better, then even your myops are happy. I have good experience of almost 400 patients I have done press biopic treatment, and I can very well now say, I am myself, I am a supra core patient. I have undergone press biopic laser, and it's almost more than four years now, and I'm still, say, 6'6 six, six, and 6 which defines a very good role. So if you do, if you choose the treatment rightly, if you plan the treatment rightly, rightly, you get a good results. As Dr. Kumar said, regression up to 0.5, yes, the usual flattening efforts in next two to three years. So whenever you plan the treatment, keep in mind these factors also and modify your treatment accordingly. I have done supracore in pseudofix also, and comparatively, these people have lesser expectations. And even if they improve up to N8, it's a very good thing for them because at that age, that thing actually helps them to have a good faking, say, good near vision. So I'll discuss this case. This is a 44 years old auditor keeps forgetting to carry and wear spectacle. So basically, he had plus hyperop plus 2.5 and 2 diopter with right eye dominance. So again, as planned, we did a supracore in both the eyes. The mesopic pupil size and photopic pupil size is already mentioned. He was comfortable with the near trial, but not for the distance, except monovision on simulation. So the pre-treatment calculation was this way. 
second case is a journalist with a subjective refractor around 2.5 diopter and 3.5 diopter taking addition of 1.5 at 90 so hyper near needs glasses for near early onset press by appear both patients were treated bilateral supraco treatment with supracore major and minor so non dominant eye you correct for plus 2 diopter and non dominant eye uh, dominant eye you correct for 1.5 diopter so this is the treatment calculation and the post operative result uncorrected visual acuity was 69 and n8 so yes while treating hyperopic patient you have to keep in mind the angle kappa if the angle kappa is high yes don't do the patient don't operate this patient this is another example of 55 years actor subjective refraction taking addition of 2 and right eye dominance so treatment modality again supracore mild was offered to dominant eye and supracore regular for left eye you must have come across the kind of calculation and changes done in the refractive correction while feeding the treatment for these patients this is a redo lasik kind of thing so lasik in 2005 very happy then almost 66 for 8 years came with a press by pick correction of plus 2 and he put in multifocal treatment for pia so we treated this patient again the same because of light colored iris we couldn't lift that flap so we again so they, no this exam is a relifting of flap was done and the regular supra core in non dominant eye was done in this case so the patient non dominant was 69 n6 patient was very happy post operatively so post lasik also we can go for supra core or any presbyopic correction as required proper evaluation and counseling is important in these cases